Hey Capricorn, welcome back for another reading. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I uh, just want to thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and thank you so much for liking the video. It really helps my channel grow. And uh, thank you so much for all your donations as usual. All right, Capricorn, let's get your reading started. Hope you're doing, ha doing absolutely amazing and uh, still looking for the method on that, about anything. Let's get some Capricorn energy. This one wants to come out. What do we got? Oh, we got the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups for you. We got the Nine of Cups. We got Ten of Cups. Wow, what's up with all these emotions? Good feelings. All right, King of Swords in reverse. Let me get one thing in reverse. All right, so for your energies today, I'm getting the Nine of Cups, okay? The Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is about... It's with it's 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 being happy with what you got. I I'm I'm starting to get the feeling that you you're looking at all the way your life is and you're being grateful and you're feeling gratitude for all the things you got. And you're really enjoying it right now and you're having not too much worries, which is great because if you're not in this state, you should be because you shouldn't have too much worries. Because worries block manifestation, okay? And um, and this is actually also an, a card where, if I was to tell you something about it, uh, it's also about laying low and um, and watching out for your for your success and and, and watching out for your uh, finances and things like that, like ice machines working. Um, we got also the Ten of Cups as well. And the Ten of Cups is about family, union. Um, it's feeling whole, wholesome. And uh, it's really joyful, positive card with your family and happiness and security. So you wanna, you wanna dig into that a little bit more if you're, not, if you're not feeling this right now. Get together with your family, call somebody in the family. You're gonna have a wonderful experience. And um, we also have the King of Swords. King of Swords is about, um, you're also feeling a little bit of, um, something is unfair. Uh, you're feeling like you're getting bullied by some people. They're being a little bit, um, they're judging you unfairly. Um, so you might be feeling some of that in also with, with, uh, with the way you're feeling good about your finances and, uh, and your family at the moment. This is good because don't worry about bullies and things like that. You know, they can take a hike, right? Because um, you got this. Capricorn, because that's the method. The method is focusing on yourself and forgetting about all of the static, you, that you, bad static that you get from other people, all right? Okay, let's get some um, let's get some cards out for the energies around you. I'm already kind of feeling they're bullying you. So we're going to get some, we're going to see what these bullies are. Okay. We got the 10 of wands in reverse. Okay. These energies around you, look at this. Okay. The 10 of wands in reverse. We got the three of pentacles and we got the Queen of Swords, okay, I knew it. So the energies around you, I got the, I got the Ten of Wands in reverse, and this is telling me definitely, it, it, it definitely confirms that there's some energies around you that's being very contradictory, they're being difficult, and they're being very, um, uh, they're giving you, they're confusing you. They're giving you intrigue in a way. Um, you know, you got to learn to say no to these people. That's what this card, the energy, that's what, what I'm getting from that one. And also, I got the uh, Three of Pentacles. And that's going to be, um, these energies around you, they, they want to work together. However, communication, um, Communication plays a big part, all right? And um, so, 
So basically, the energies you have, you have, you have energies around you that are being difficult, but they do want to work with you, um, and it's about working together uh, long term. You're gonna learn something with with the, with this energy around you in the long term, and uh, communication plays a big role from your part because you have the ability to communicate with, with these energies around you and, and kind of get to the meat and potato. You gotta find out what the meat and potato of the conversation is. And then, good will come out, okay? That's what that's saying. And then we have the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is about, uh, there's an energy around you that, that, that's kind of giving you cold advice, okay? Um, meaning, you don't have nothing, when they say something, it feels like it's very blunt and cold. Because the Queen of Swords is the sword cuts like a, like the sword cuts, and, and, and it's about analytics also. So, so it's about talking um, and communication. And um, so this energy around you, I don't think it's the same energy as these contradictory energies. But however, this one, this energy around you sees through the, all of the BS. And this is the protector energy. And uh, this one is, this person is, is already is a standalone person. I'm pretty sure that when you, this person that's around you is, you see them and you're like, they're, they're, they're like a, a, a very, person who's like they tell you like it is no BS okay so you got that energy around you so I would listen to this person even though it doesn't feel like you know warm and fuzzy and uh, and then these two energies around you definitely they're contradictory because uh, at they're pretty uh, they're not in the right energy right now they're in reverse and of course they want to work together in some way. And the communication part is gonna come from your part, on your end, because they're, they, they're not gonna be able to see what kind of communication is needed to make this work, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and pull some cards for your uh, future outcome for the energies that you're feeling. Yeah, see, I knew it. It's like, your, your energies is, is definitely um, in being impacted by this. So we got, we got some obstacles. There's gonna be some obstacles with this energy, with this energy okay? See the obstacles that, that you're gonna be facing is gonna be determined by you and the way that uh, you are um, gonna be handling the communication from your part. Okay, we got, what do we got? Let's take the top one. We got the three, uh, we got the three major arcana, which is the Empress. Somebody's in their Empress energy. And we have the two of wands. Okay, so outcome wise, I got the nine of wands. It's an action card. And there's gonna be action being taken, but there's gonna be obstacles. So you're gonna have to basically, um, you're gonna have to overcome this hardship with this energy that, that's not eye to eye with you, okay? There's obstacles, all right? But we also have the Empress in reverse, and this one, however, you're gonna see that when you go through those obstacles in the next few, you're gonna be seeing the light and the truth is gonna come out. There is some miscommunication of some kind uh, from this part. And the light and the truth will be unrevealed, okay? And there's gonna be some public recognition to this. There's gonna be, there's gonna be it's gonna be out in the public, okay? Everybody's gonna know that 
the light and the truth is going to come out. Okay? And I got the two of wands, which is another action card. And this one is also about, it's a surprise. It's going to be wonder, okay, for a minute. All right? You're going to be surprised and wonder. You're going to feel, because it's, because it's a surprise, the outcome, because you're going to be dwelling and wondering about it, there is going to be a little bit of animosity, okay? So, let's go ahead and pull some uh, advice cards from the old down and spirit to help you in your journey with this situation, okay? And the method is telling a joke, okay? You always tell a good joke. All right. Okay, I got a joke for you, okay? So this guy, he's really good, and so Jesus comes to him after a long time and says, hey, you know what, you've been really good. I wanna give you a wish. So the guy says, you know, I really like Hawaii, so uh, can you build me a bridge to Hawaii? And Jesus is like, you know what, uh, that's a, even for me, that's a lot. I mean, don't you have another wish that I can grant? I mean, all of that metal and concrete, and that big bridge. And the guy goes, yeah, you know what? Um, can you tell me why my, my girlfriend is so mad at me always and why she's so um, upset and why, why she thinks I'm such a bad guy? And Jesus goes, hey, uh, do you want three lanes or four lanes on that bridge? You know, so, hey, all right. See, Capricorn, see, you gotta be humorous, okay? Don't forget, that's your, that's your method, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and pull some of these. What do we got here for you? Self-interest, discord, and open dishonor, okay? Five of swords, look out for that. I spy on you, okay? Somebody spying on you. Never let someone waste your time twice. I think you got this on your reading before. I think they keep doing it for some reason. Aggression, defiance, and conviction. Defensiveness, preservation, and stamina. Someone wants to be the boss. Okay. All right, that's what I got, okay? The old spirit saying, self-interest, discord, and dishonor. What did I tell you? That somebody here is... They're, 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 they have self-interest and they openly will dishonor. They might do that in the future, which is going to be the surprise. And that's going to be your obstacle to get over, okay? I spy on you, they're spying on you. Never let anybody waste your time twice. So, you know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Okay, don't forget that. I even got that one wrong, just like, just like the president did. Okay, um, aggression, defiance, and conviction. Okay, seven of wands. So definitely they're very contradictory, okay? So knowing that, don't waste your time on that as well, okay? Um, this is probably for you, Descent, uh, defensiveness and uh, preservation and stamina. Keep your flow strong, okay? Don't, don't fall into any of their little traps or, or things that they say that might make you hurt because, you know, they want to be the bossy boss, okay? All right, so that's what I got for you today, Capricorn. And uh, don't forget to tell a joke. You could reuse my joke. And um, I hope you the best outcome for this situation. I hope it resonates with you. And thank you so much for liking this video. I really appreciate the like, because that's gonna really help my channel, okay? Thank you, take care.